I think fundamentally, our organizations are great because of their people. You know, organizations don't become great just by themselves. It, it takes people to have ideas, it takes people to engage with customers. If you believe in that concept that organizations are the success of organizations are down to their people, you want the very best people in the organization. You want them aligned with what you're trying to do. You want them engaged with the organization as well. So fundamentally, without great people, I don't think you can get great organizations. SHL provides insight into people and that insight can be used across the workforce for better hiring decisions, uh, better succession planning decisions, better development decisions across an organization. So we provide the insight that enables organizations to get better outcomes for their people and from their people. SHL looks at multiple points of criteria when, when trying to determine whether there is a match between an individual, a role, or an individual and, and an organisation. One aspect is the context that the role is working uh, within, where the organisation is at, and that's really important, in particular at more senior and, and leadership levels. Another aspect of criteria that, that we explore is around behaviours, so capabilities, and then we look at things around skills and experiences. And then the final component is around potential. So what does an individual bring from a potential point of view that means they could develop and grow later with the right nurturing, the right development? And we do that through assessing somebody's personality preferences. How do they prefer to work? What's their preferred style? Um, we explore things like their motivation and also their cognitive reasoning skills. So how they interpret data, how they work with words. And all of that, all of those factors, can give us a, a really great holistic insight into whether an individual is going to be a good match for a particular role. We look at what we call talent acquisition, which is hiring, and we also look at what we call talent management, which is about employees within a workforce. And what we do is we provide insight into the individual that can then be used for a variety of different development purposes. Could be used to, for better learning, could be used for reskilling, could be used to have a career conversation with a manager about where they might want to go in the future. So what we provide is that unbiased scientific base insight that enables a person to have a better conversation and get a better outcome. Broadly there's three stages of engaging the individual, making them want to apply for the job, letting them learn about what that job actually is and what it would entail, assessing the individual, so do they have the right skills, capabilities and, and um, knowledge to be able to do the job that you want to do, and then sifting them or sorting them through to those that you want to interview and eventually get to, to offers on. That's broadly like the, the high level flow for talent acquisition. SHL's talent management solution, Mobilize, allows leaders, HR business partners, and participants in leadership development programs or a, folks who want to develop to gain visibility into both areas they are uh, strong, areas where they have to develop. It provides dashboards to allow leaders and managers to see across the organization, where are my high potentials? Who might I put into a new role today? A special feature of our talent management solution is this feature called Hidden Gems. A hidden gems feature helps us see into places where there might be pockets of talent that we can use in ways we hadn't thought of before. And that's really powerful to help us do things like grow diversity and, and increase the depth of our bench. The M. Scott Myers Award um, is a really prestigious award in the world of industrial and occupational psychology. It's sponsored by SIOP and SHL won this uh, in, in 2018. A research team carried out a piece of research involving 9,000 leaders all across the globe, so over, over 80 uh, different organisations. And so what we were able to identify were 27 different contexts, different scenarios, um, different situations that leaders typically find themselves in and all of those different contexts what you need from a leader is going to be ever so slightly different so that unique combination of attributes if we can understand that then we can more holistically predict 
somebody's um, likely level of performance. And then when we combine that with SHL's um, already established science around using personality assessments and, and understanding fit in terms of experiences, we were able to produce an assessment that has four times the power of a more traditional approach to measuring and understanding leadership behaviour. So this was a really proud moment um, for SHL and actually a real turn point for the whole industry. I see a world where getting genuine insight around people and people in the workforce, whether they're coming in through hiring or already there, as a key part of how organisations operate.